Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to do a review of the items that I opened in my last haul. If you didn't check out that video, I will link it in the cards so you can go check out that haul. Um, as I had mentioned, I hadn't bought a lot of things recently because there weren't too many things that I liked, but when I started digging through the website, I kind of found some things. So I picked up in the last haul um, some Team USA items, the yoga outfit, um, Yvette and McKenna outfits and Molly's school outfit and school supplies. So I'm going to show you all of those. So we'll start here with McKenna and Yvette. Uh, I'll start with Yvette. She has, um, oh man, I don't have the names of the actual outfits, but I'll put them down below. But she has this flower duster jacket outfit on. And so, first of all, let's just appreciate Yvette. I know her hair is a little big, but I love her. I think she's so cute. Okay, so starting with the duster, since it's on, on top of everything, this is a lightweight black duster that goes about to the knees. It has those really pretty flowers on it, and the sleeves have a cuffing at the bottom, which I think is really nice to keep it sort of the structure of the jacket. Underneath that, she has the um, tank top, just says Peace Love. Um, I did not read her book. Ooh, I mean, I haven't read a lot of the books, but I do think she's got kind of like a hippie vibe coming out, like based on her meat outfit. It says, Peace Love. I love that pink. It's coming off very bright in the camera, but it's beautiful. And then some mid-length shorts, which are really cute. If you have Joss, they're longer than Joss's shorts. I love the two-tone color on them. The pockets do work. And this is just a Velcro front, which is always nice. The shoes are like a basic Chuck Taylor, very good quality, like a canvassy outside and a furry lined inside, which is better than some of those shoes have been because Luciana has a pair like that and they're just kind of thin on the inside. And then I will turn her around, I'm doing this with one hand today, no tripod, so. Um, okay, moving her beautiful hair out of the way. Oop, you can't see much. It's just the back of the little jacket. And then I will take the jacket off so you can see her actual outfit. Okay, when you take the floral duster off, you have um, basic Velcro in the back that goes all the way down for the tank top and back pockets that actually do work as well. And so I think this is a very great outfit. These are the ones that are designed by those other designers and so they're a little bit more pricey but totally worth it all right next up is McKenna okay I said it before but I got McKenna as part of the three set of the world by us girls she wasn't my favorite but she's starting to grow on me now and um, I haven't gotten one of her outfits okay this is the second outfit I got for Yvette I have Maritza's one of her outfits but I decided let me just get an outfit that she would wear um, and I'm actually really starting to warm up to her so she's wearing this pink, like velour, crushed velvet type vibe thing. Um, starting at the top, you have the hat. Um, I really thought the hat was gonna sit a little bit more narrow, but I think because her hair, it kind of goes, it's a little bit wider, but still very cute. You've got this sequence like chubby jacket. It's so adorable, very thick. It almost feels like uh, a winter vest you might wear or a fall vest underneath if I can unzip it you have a basic pink tank top with a very simple velcro closure in the back and then I tucked it in you don't have to it's hits at the waist um, but I tucked it in just to make it like a clean look under the vest and then she's got these crushed velvet sort of like velour pants with the sequin pockets the pockets do work um, and they're a jogger style, so they're tight around the ankle. My only fault with this outfit is the shoes because they are definitely recycled, truly me, neat outfit shoes. These are not new shoes. They could have gone a whole different way. Uh, it works for the outfit, but it's like they really cheaped out at the end. However, it's still very cute. I think it fits McKenna, and it really is making me like her more. All right, next we have uh, 83, our Zoe. And she is wearing the like yoga spa calm outfit. I, first of all, 
if you've been watching my channel, you know that I love our number 83. I think she could wear literally anything and she looks great in it and this just proves that. So starting at the top comes with the headband. It's one of those double lined headbands, just pull it apart and I think it looks cute on her blonde hair. The gold still pops. I think it would be good on dark hair too. And then you have the sort of cropped top and it's really cute because it has this crisscross pattern in the front which gives it like a very modern look. But what I loved, and I'll turn her around, was that when you Velcro the back, there's a Velcro for the shirt and a Velcro for the wrap right there that goes into a little bow. So it made it really easy to put on, but also very stylish. So I really loved that. The pants are basic spandex yoga style pants with that gold uh, sort of trim right here, which I thought was really nice. And then the sandals. Uh, I was not bothered by the sandals in this outfit because I think the other yoga outfit, we got um, no shoes. And so I love that. And that just gives me an idea. I think I'm going to turn the upstairs into like a workout studio because I've got the yoga set. I've got some exercise fitness things and like um, Gabriella's dance bar. So I think I could do that. That's going to be so cute. Okay, stay tuned for that. Just had that idea. Uh, anyway, the sandals are great. They're gold. They have the strap on the back. And they fit really well. Easy to put on. Uh, another detail on these pants is that it has that sort of, um, I don't not knitted, but sort of just, you see how it's cut open right there. I really love that as well. So really great outfit again I'm biased because everything looks good on Zoe but honestly it's really cute okay next up I brought Corinne out to put the Team USA gymnastics outfit on um, as I mentioned in my last video I do have sort of like this growing collection of Team USA items we're gonna do a video on the items that I have um, I kept the box but it's okay I put her in it um, and I haven't changed Corinne out of her camping outfit in a while trying to I don't know I think Corinne just needs another push of, of things and so we can get back invested in her anyway here she is in her gymnastics outfit if you've gotten any gymnastics outfits before it's pretty much the same you get the unitard um, sort of bathing suit style leotard with the long sleeves I love the Team USA logos on this side she's got the scrunchie I did try um, putting her hair in one single French braid uh, but it didn't look great, and I did it with the scrunchie. But then I moved to two French braids, so I'm so proud of it. It's so cute. I'll show you in a second. And just put the scrunchie on her wrist. Then she has sort of like the grips. I don't know if I have these on the right way, but that's the way I put them for now. And then it's got the little shoes that go with the gymnastics outfit. So pretty standard gymnastics outfit, but I think it looks good on her. All right, so now I'll turn her around just for the double French braid appreciation. Now she's got the different colors in her hair so you can clearly see the wig break here, but I think it looks really cute and I think it makes the blue kind of pop and stand out a bit more, which I love. I don't think it would be allowed on the Team USA team, but for the dollhouse, it is just fine. Okay, last up I have Molly in her school outfit. As I mentioned in my last video, I really love Molly in her meet outfit. I didn't particularly love her in the birthday outfit, but this school outfit really redeems it. It is so well made, very thick. Um, we'll start up top here with the shirt. It is a full length shirt, so it cuts at the waist. You've got these really nice um, closed off wrists, but it has Velcro here so you can get it in and it's close, tight fitting. Beautiful collar with mock buttons and Velcros in the back. Then you have the jumper that has Velcro in the back, very thick. Uh, like I said, just very well made, very long. Socks and the saddle shoes that go with it. I think it looks so good. The green um, bows are really cute with the outfit as well. I'll turn her around. So you can kind of see the back, but she looks very put together and clean in this outfit. Um, and then I picked up the school accessories. So I will lay those out for you now. Okay, so anybody who has an idea of picking the school set up, I highly suggest doing it. As I mentioned in the unboxing video in the haul, this is a really thick bag, really nice quality, that sort of fake leather on it. And then inside they gave 
um, such cute school supplies. So I did not open this. This is like the report card. Um, and then like a checkout system. I did not do that because I want to keep it nice. Um, here they gave a binder. I think this binder is super classic with a pencil pouch. So I just set up the binder that gave you paper and in the pencil pouch, I don't know if I can open it with one hand, but I just put the eraser pencils and colored pencils. So you can see here, you have plenty of room in the pencil pouch to hold the items that are provided in the set. If you want to add more things, you could. But I think it's a really, really cute set and totally worth it. So that is the review on the items that I picked up. Please comment down below which is your favorite item and will you be picking up any of these or do you have them? As always, thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.